Hello. Welcome back to Eclipse RP. Today, um, I have a very interesting video. Um, not because of the video itself, but because of a recent rule change. Um, but before we go into that, um, so first off, today what we're going to be doing is stopping the title. is testing out the... Oh, jeez. Holy shit. It's testing out the new uh, drug lab that they added recently. Um, the mobile drug lab that you can actually like take in your house and move around and such. So I think that's what we're going to be testing out today. Um, now again, only official factions can import them, but we're going to see how much it's going to cost for us to buy one from an official faction. Um, let me see how much money we're at. About 17k after we take our salary out. Um, we also do have two shotguns. I might sell one of them so we can afford it depending on how much it is. Um, but what we're going to do right now is go get in contact with one of the bigger gangs and see if it's possible for us to get one of these drug labs. Um, but before we do do that, I have a very important uh, update for Eclipse, I guess, that came out recently. Um, so recently there was a big rule change um, that would change basically the robbing rules and the uh, rules in general for kind of RP robbing. Which again, this is already on Mafia, but this is a really, uh, really huge change to Eclipse. So now you can only rob people either at night or in areas that would make sense to rob someone at. So no, no longer are you going to have to worry about every single clothing store you go into getting robbed, because that's how it was before this. Um, literally, no matter what store you go into, you were scared to get robbed, even if it was right next to PD. Uh, people just come in there, rob you, and leave all the time. So this rule change uh, really changes a lot of the server. Um, it's going to be really weird not having to, you know, have like someone watch you fill up your gas or having someone watch you get your clothes. Now we don't really have to worry about that. I think it's a really great rule change. Um, with all of the faults that uh, Eclipse definitely has, with a lot of the pay-to-win aspects and such like that, I think this is a really good rule change. And I uh, can't really fault that much for it. I think it's a really great change for the server. But, uh, without further ado, let's go over, find a official gang or someone in an official gang and see if we're going to be able to buy a mobile, dribble, mobile drug lab. Um, so I will catch you guys up once we find someone. It might take a little bit, but once we do, I will uh, cut back and see if we can get this started. How's it going, Mike? By any chance, can I get any tables from y'all? Are you selling those? Yo, um, some dude wants to buy, uh, tables at HQ? No? Not really, mate. No, really, damn. Not yet. Not yet, bro. Alright, alright, no problem, no problem. I like the sweatshirt. Thanks. Fuck you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'll go ask around then. Take care. Do you know how much they're uh, selling for, by any chance? No, like, we don't sell motor gang at all, and you pick it. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. We have to have a meeting about that shit. Yeah, yeah. Do you know if uh, Zetas do? No, it's the same thing. If really? They're not doing it. They're not doing it. Yeah. Oh damn. Yes, we do. Um, text you. Alright, alright. Do you know how much you think they're gonna be selling around? Just like an estimate? Probably like 20k. Oh, okay, it's not. I thought it was gonna be horrible. Alright. Yeah. Alright, mate. See you around. Y'all stay safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, have good one. you too. Alright, um, apparently Triads aren't selling them, and they said Zetas aren't, but we're gonna go check with Zetas, see if they are, but, uh, I guess we'll see. Just wondering, do y'all sell uh, any that tables by any sold. chance? I just fucking called him like three seconds ago. No, not yet. Alright, alright, alright. Thank you, mate. Fuck off, Zed. <laughs> Alright, looks like Zetas don't either. Um, so I guess I don't know how we're gonna be able to get one then. Um, I'm gonna look around, see if maybe we can borrow one just to test it out and such. Uh, but I will cut back in just a little bit. Alright, so since we couldn't get it from either faction, um, what I think we're going to do is just try and go around town. Um, instead of focusing on just the tables, I might just do that in a different episode and instead, in this episode, what we could do is focus on the whole new drug system, see how it works. Um, also test out the mining now, because apparently you can get drug materials from mining. So we have a couple things to check out today. Um, again, the biggest part of this whole video is that rule change for um, being able to rob and not being able to rob in daylight and stuff. It might seem like a minor thing, but it changes pretty much the whole server for a lot of different things. So what we're going to do right now is head up to the, uh, what is it called? Humane Labs, I believe. Humane Labs comes and see what the prices are for um, the chemicals and for the different drug materials. Because I believe they did do a lot of changes after the day one because I think it was like it would take almost an, like 20 minutes to make I think $600 off drugs. 
And uh, I'm pretty sure they changed that to be a little bit more rewarding. But what we're going to do is go over to Humane Labs, check out what the prices are for stuff, uh, maybe do a little math, and then I will uh, see you guys once we get over there. Oh, wait, actually. What the heck is going on here? Oh, bunch of... Okay. Never mind. I'll see you guys once we get there. Alright, so we are here. Um, surprise, there's not a lot of people here. Let's see how the hell this works. Alright, so it's humane. Um, again, I'm pretty sure you cannot get robbed now anymore here. Um, it's sunlight, and it's in a big... Uh, what would be our Peely having a lot of people. So I don't think we have to worry about getting robbed, which is very nice. Um, again, if this new update, there's a lot less stress about just doing normal stuff. Okay, so let's see the price of stuff. So, pseudo, it looks like, is everything 100? So everything's 100. Um, now, if we go to one of the drug tables, I believe it costs 3 to 5 ingredients per uh, drug, which is around 300 to $500 then. Um, so we'll do some quick math on that. Depending on how much it sells for, you could be making a decent amount. Um, I think what we're going to... Oh, jeez. Pink unicorns. Good style. Um, but I think you can make a decent amount, but I'm not sure. Appa again, apparently they did change the drug prices. So what we're going to do is go, first of all, um, check all of the labs. Because I'm very curious with the new, uh, what is it? Slash disable, or something labs. Um, destroy lab. I think, is that it? Let's destroy lab. Something like that. Disable lab, destroy lab, something like that. But basically players can now shut down labs. Um, I want to see if any of the labs are even open. Because I felt like, with that change, uh, no lab will ever be open besides the ones, you know, again, you can get being an official faction, the ones that you can put in your house. So what we're going to do is go to all of the different uh, drug locations and check and see if uh, any of them are even open. Because again, with this new update, I feel like no one's going to be able to ever cook at regular drug labs. But uh, I guess we can check and see. And see if, I mean, if one is up, we can even check if we can disable it and how long it takes as well. So we're going to go over to all of the labs, check them all see if any of them are working and um, I will cut back once we do that let's go check all the labs first this is the first lab it looks like the table's still up but let's check okay we don't have anything too valuable on us so I'm not really worried about getting robbed didn't even bring any weapons but uh let's see oh it is still here all right so um let me find that command again and see if we can destroy this lab because I'm not sure how that works so give me a second but um actually before we do that let's check so let's say we do this, um, that'd be 100, 100, so it'd be $300 for crack, and then $200 for cocaine, uh, $200 for this one, and then $400 for heroin. So let's see, I'm curious how much they sell for, um, we're going to try and make one of each, but is there any plants here? Let's check that out as well. Hopefully there's some plants already grown here. Yes, there is. Not harvestable yet, but um, hopefully we can find some harvestable plants so we can test out how much each one is, so you to test out how much money you make per, uh, per, what's it called, per drug, um, with the new added cost for materials. So I will, I guess, uh, cut back once we can get some plants, once we get the ingredients and everything. Um, but first let me find that command, see if we can destroy labs, or if that destroy labs command is only for the ones you create in your house. So let's check that out real quick. Alright, so the command is slash dismantle lab. So let's see how this works. Dismantle lab. Oh, okay, so maybe it is only for... Let's see if we can do it this one. Okay, it is only for the ones in your house. Okay. That's uh, kind of a relief for the whole crim scene, because I was worried that anyone could just go to the labs and disable them, but still, uh, it seems like PD or FT, or whatever it's called, not FT, um, yeah, fire department, still has to be called to disable the lab, which is definitely good, um, because I was worried about... What is in here? I was worried about... Um, players just being able to run up to labs and disable them. Um, let's get out of here before we get robbed. Real quick. But, uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm glad they didn't do it. Oh, I need cough troll. Is there any marijuana in there? Nope, nope. No? Okay. Don't worry, bro. I don't even have a gun. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Alright, um, but it looks like there is... What's it called? No way to just disable them. Are these ready yet? Oh, these are ready. We could grab those. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's grab them. Going a little off topic here. But um, it looks like there is no way to disable them as a player, which is good. Um, you still have to call PD and have the fire department come down and disable the lab. So that's still a good thing. I really was worried about that feature. Um, but it looks like it's just for the labs that you create in your house, thankfully. So I think what we're going to do is go back to Humane Labs, um, grab enough ingredients for each kind of drug, at least, that we can make here. 
and uh, come back, make them, and then see which each one sells for. And then from that, we can figure out how much money you make per drug and which ones are worth going for. So hopefully you guys find some of the info in this video um, somewhat informational. But uh, I will cut back once we get all the proper ingredients and uh, can test this out. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, so thanks to this nice man over here, um, I found out that some of the materials that you can't get in here, you can actually only get in the mines, and then pseudo, um, the other pseudo, I forget what it's called, um, you can only get from the laptops. It's very interesting, um, but we can get most of the materials here, so we can get the sulfuric acid, I got the powder lime for the crack, um, then we need another sulfuric, we need more powder lime, we need muric, can I get that here? I guess that's in the mines as well, um, ammonia... And then we can do a couple more, I believe. What else do we need for the last one? We're going to need Muric, which we can't get here. Let's get that. We need Acetone. And then we need more Sodium. So it definitely looks like... Oh, that's a freaking sweet car. Oh, that's a sweet car. I think it's sick. Um, but I think what we're going to have to do is go to the mines and actually mine out the uh, proper materials we need. And then... We can finally test um, how the whole new drug system works and what stuff sells for. Um, so let's try. Can we stack this? No, we cannot. Let's put some of this in here. Um, let's go over to the mines. I already got a pickaxe. And uh, test out how this new system works. Um, so I think all we need to test out the rest of it is some sodium as well as some murat muriatic, um, whatever it's called, muriatic acid. Can't pronounce it. Don't blame me. Um... But so what we're going to do is go over to the mines, test that out, see how much materials you get from the mines, see how common they are. Hopefully, um, you guys can learn a little bit from that as well. I'm learning as well with you guys, but uh, I will catch up with you guys once we get to the mines. Jeez, it seems like a lot of people over here. Holy shit, there's a lot of people. So new mines are probably a lot more profitable now that you can get the drug materials as well. We also need to fill up on gas, did not realize we were that low. Alright, let's go in the mines, see what we can do, see what happens. Um, again, I think it's going to be a lot better, but uh, we're going to see. There's going to be a lot of people in here, holy crap. Alright, so only we're only looking for drug materials, just so we can test out the prices. So let's look for sodium and muric. Oh, I found sodium, so let's mine that. I believe we need two sodium to test out all of the drugs. So let's go grab it. Oh, wait, is there even more? Wait a second. Okay, we got it. Oh, I guess we can mine it again. So we need two sodium and I believe two muriatic to be able to test everything out. There's another sodium. Oh, we can keep mining it as well if we wanted to. Alright, so I looked through the whole entire mine, um, both ways, every ways. Um, and unfortunately I could not find any muriatic acid, so I'm not exactly sure where you get that from. Um, it might be something you have to order off, order off of the laptop. Um, I'm pretty sure it was not at the Humane Labs. Uh, if it was, I'm really stupid and I'll probably show that on screen now. Um, but either way, we're going to be able to test both of the um, crack and cocaine, see how much money it costs to make them, and then see how much money you get from selling them. Um, then we can get a rough estimate probably about what the other ones are selling, because most of them are pretty, um, pretty even with each other. So at least we can get an idea of uh, how much money you can make drug running in this new update. So I think what we're going to do is go over back to that lab and um, finally cook up just two different things. Um, just to get a, again, just an idea for how much stuff is going to be able to sell for and how much money you're going to be able to make with the new uh, drug update and with the new changes. So we're going to go back over to the lab we were at originally. Um, cook up two uh, different drugs that go to the sell point, sell them, um, see how much money we make. I know we can uh, also check the other drug prices there, but I just wanted to go through the whole process and kind of show you guys the process as well instead of just going to the sell point and showing you the prices. Thought it'd be a little bit more entertaining. So what we're going to do is go over to the um, mine, or not, not to the mine, to the lab, cook it up, go to the sell point, check out all the prices, and then see if drug making is still viable with this new update. We're back at the lab, finally, and uh, so let's check if it's any different to make them. Um, I don't believe it is, but might as well check. That's what I'm curious on. So let's make one and two. Oh my, they, oh my, they have really changed how much time it takes to make stuff. 
Uh, I did not realize it was that long. Uh, so I guess we're going to be here for a little bit. Um, so that's 1,200 seconds. Um, I guess while we're here, we can just test everything. So Coke is 900. Uh, I don't think we can test that. But jeez, I did not realize um, it was that much time. Uh, I also didn't realize it would get rid of my items when I try and do it, because I didn't do that before. But, uh, maybe it did. I'm not sure. But... I did not realize it would take that long, um, so instead we might just go test out the prices. Um, I'm going to try and cook just one Coke, see if we get robbed in that time. If we do, again, we don't really have anything expensive on us, so I'm not too worried. But um, anyways, let's just make sure our car's locked, and then try and cook at least one up, and uh, see what happens from that. Again, I don't know, jeez, I didn't realize the, uh, the timer is that long now. That's pretty crazy. Um, so let's cook up one Coke at least. See what happens, and uh, see if we can do this. Uh, if we do, <laughs> I guess we'll go sell it. Um, if we aren't able and we get robbed or whatever, we'll still go check out the prices and then probably get an idea of how much money you can make from that. So I'll see you guys once we're done cooking this, because it's going to take quite a little bit. Alright, I hear some people pulling up. Let's see if we get robbed again. We don't really have anything on us, so if we do get robbed, it's fine. Hello, mate. You know the pros. You get a rob, mate? Oh, nah, okay, sweet. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, we're almost done with Coke. We got about another 540 seconds to go. Alright. Finally almost done. Jeez, it's been here for a while. Uh, we had two people show up as you saw, but let's see. Did we only get one, right? Uh-oh. Uh what happened to it? We have it, right? Did it just disappear after we made it? Oh, there it is. Jesus, scared the shit out of me. We have to pick it up apparently after it's made. Pops up there. Jeez, that scared me. Um, jeez, that scared me for a second. Alright, let's go. Head on back. Uh, or I guess head to one of the drug cell locations so we can, one, sell this and uh, see how it works, if there's anything different about that. And then, two, uh, check all of the prices and see what they're looking at. Um, again, I'm guessing they're heavily changed because of how much time it now takes to create it. But um, let's go to one of the drug cell locations, check it out. Let's see how much stuff's selling for. Um, I also did see a couple postings on the uh, Eclipse Discord of people who had a bunch of drugs from before and uh, sold them now because now they're worth a ton more, obviously, because it takes 1,200 seconds or 900 seconds to make, depending on what kind of drugs. So hopefully, um, unfortunately, we don't have a stockpile of stuff that we haven't sold. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people do, though, and are making a bank right now. But um, what we're going to do is go at least test this out for ourselves, see how it is, and uh, I'll cut back in uh, just a little bit once we get to the drug cell location. Alright, we are at the drug cell location now again. The reason I use this one is because pretty much no one ever goes here. Um, let's just park right here. I mean, again, there's no reason for anyone to be over here ever, because uh, most people actually don't even know this drug location, and there's no, like, truck guard or anything over here. So let's go inside, let's see what we can sell this stuff for. Uh, check the prices first. Let's see. Oh, jeez. So, crack is 915, cocaine 777, um, ecstasy 830, and then heroin 1023, 632, 662, and 622. So, I guess, um, I think the best way to do it would be to come here, check what's in high demand first, um, and then go to the lab, cook a bunch up, and then come here and sell. Um, again, so the thing is, both of these, I believe, cost $200 each in supplies, so you're only making about $500 per. Um, I believe the heroin costs $300 in supplies, so you're still making only around $700, and I'm guessing it takes a lot longer to make. Um, so again, probably within the next couple of days, people are going to be figuring out what's worth it to do and what's worth it not to do. But while we're here, let's at least sell our cocaine. Let's drop it off. Nice $753. Okay, so it has changed even in this time I have looked at it. So let me... Oh, they change pretty often. Uh, I'm pretty sure it just goes off of when people sell it. Um, obviously, then the man changes. It's very interesting. Um, definitely, the whole drug system being um, a lot different is definitely changes a lot on the server. Um, again, anyone who has had um, a bunch of drugs stocked up is very happy right now, I guess, because he, the old prices were a lot different than that. So whoever did have drugs stocked, stocked up, are probably very happy right now, probably making a lot of easy money, but I think that's going to be about it for now. Um, again, I do still want to test out the drug lab in your home. Uh, now that I know that slash, uh, what is it? Dismantle lab? Yeah, dismantle lab is only for the ones in your house, thankfully, because I was worried that, again, that um, 
it was going to be for anything, and uh, that would have screwed up a lot of people. Um, there pretty much would be no labs open if that was true. So thankfully, the slash just made a lab just only for your own house. Um, but before we end, there's just one more thing. Um, I did want to do a video on the gang war going on that was between WCA, um, I think Dojin Kai with them against uh, NLA, the Triads, and the Zetas. But unfortunately, for some weird reason, it was paused OSCLE by admins. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this means. Um, I don't really want to say my opinion on it just because I don't know all the details and I don't want to say anything um, that you know I don't have the right information for. But apparently the war is paused OSCLE. Um, I will update you guys in a video if it does get unpaused or whatever is happening with that. Um, it's very weird. I don't think I've ever seen a war paused OSCLE by admins. But um, again, I don't want to give any of my opinions because I don't know the full story. But I think that's going to be about it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, and if this helped you out at all with any of the new drug updates, please leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.